Hello, I'm Jane Garvey. And this woman has been following me around now for um, how, how many, it must be getting on for five or six years, I've contacted the authorities. She just keeps turning up. Who are you? Oh dear. Well, it's a good joke, isn't it? <laughs> isn't it? It never wears thin. No. So I'm Fee Glover and this is Jane Susan Garvey. So here in this beautifully branded coffee mug, we have a selection of questions which have been randomly selected from social media and rather worryingly from our new colleagues at Times Radio. So we're just going to pick out the questions and we're each going to answer them. And I think probably we're going to try not to cry. You go first. OK, right. What's the best story you've ever covered? Best story. Best story. Gosh, that's quite a difficult one. Uh, do you want to go first? I would say, slightly weirdly, well, perhaps it's not so weird, one of the happiest things I ever covered was the wedding of Meghan and Harry at Windsor. I was in a very lowly position on the ceremonial route at Windsor, but it was just a very happy, happy, sunny day. And we had really high expectations at the time of the couple. And people had come out in their droves, and there was a genuine mix of folk, picnics, carver. It was a good day. And like I say, we had high hopes. <laughs> yes, I was going to say. And did you pack your cynicism in a little cling film pack in your lunchbox? My cynicism was not on display that day. Okay. Genuinely, I felt quite moved by it. Well, that's lovely. Now you answer. Well, one of the um, one story that stays with me, and it just sounds so bizarre. It's the roof tiles of Bermuda. <laughs> Good luck. Because we were doing a series about things that do work all over the world, and somebody wrote in and said, the roof tiles of Bermuda are epic. And we were a little bit of that face in the office. So I'm, I'm not entirely sure, does that rack up against the, you know, mass policy of Shanghai or the environmental policy of Costa Rica? But it turns out they just did a really simple thing in Bermuda. We did a full investigation into this, yes. where they put limestone tiles on roofs, which disinfects the water as it rains and all Bermudans can store their own water under their house. Okay. And they right. Every day is a school day. Um, give me the mug. No, it's my turn. And it stayed with me. I want to hold the mug. Oh, I see. It's not your turn to choose a question. Ooh. Oh, I just want to hold the mug. This is going to go so well, isn't it? Here we go. Oh, what's the worst thing that's happened to you while on air? Well, I've done radio shows whilst in the early stages of pregnancy. So a little we bit. We both have, haven't yes, we? Yeah. Yep. Did you have to have a bucket by the... I had a waste paper yep, bin. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Yep. Not for vomit, but for dry retching. I've had, have you had a guest walk out? Like, no. you know, not able to carry on? Because they hated you or because... No, that's a strange, strange thing to jump to. <laughs> no. <laughs> Why was it that they walked out? Too nervous. Oh, no. Yeah, so I had one, only once, only once, a guest who just got so overcome with the idea that they were going to have to speak. Ironically, it was about something really quite unchallenging. Mm. I think it may even be about vegetables. And anyway, he couldn't carry on, and he leapt out of his seat and ran out of the studio. So how did you, did you cover for him? Yes, totally. Oh, totally. You have got a kind heart. Yes, yep, yeah. So, but um, that's not available to you, the kind heart. Your turn. I'm holding the mug. Nice sound effect. Worst person you've ever worked with. Uh, well, <laughs> no, that's no, that's <laughs> just puerile and silly, and won't help to publicise our new Times Radio show, will it? No, it won't. And the and the funny thing is, and I know that you just hate me saying this, but I actually really do enjoy spending time in your company because you do make me laugh. I mean, the fact that we get paid for it is only an add-on extra. You hold the mug. <laughs> We can't really answer that question truthfully. I think it's fair to say that we have both bumped up against in the world of broadcasting. How are we going to break this to people? There are some troubled souls around, aren't some there? Some absolute mm. wazzocks. Yes, we are. <laughs> some <Yeah>. nailed on <laughs> blonkers in our line of work. OK. Here we go. Uh, most famous celebrity you've ever met? Oh, gosh. Um, Do you know what? We're of an age where this may not really ring true. Well, Hillary Clinton, people will know that Hillary name. Clinton would do well. And when I say I've met her, she was in a surgical boot and I'd had too much to drink at the Woman of the Year lunch and I had to interview her when I wasn't really in the best of conditions. Uh, it was a short notice affair. I haven't got time for the anecdote now and nor has anybody else, but suffice to say I tried to sober up with a big bottle of sparkling water and a lot of black coffee. It didn't entirely work and I was quite flat. <laughs> 
was going to say, but you're quite burpy. <laughs> it's quite burpy. And she was in a surgical boot because she'd had a, had a fall. <laughs> so it was a triumph for both of us that day. Yes, I'm yeah. sure it was. What about you? Well, I, well, it would be back to the kind of um, the political merry-go-round. So it would be Tony Blair or Gordon Brown, I suppose. But I tell you, the person I liked meeting the most yeah. um, was uh, Sarah Paretsky, you know, the novelist, crime oh, yes. writer. Yeah. She was just one of those people I could have talked to her for so ever, her most ever, famous character ever, um, ever, ever. So she's the Iowa Shortsky. That's it. Yeah. yeah. Yes. There you go. There we are. Okay. <sighs> Oh, this is a question that does crop up on the Google. Yes. Uh, are Jane Garvey and Fee Glover friends? And actually, it's quite a telling question. First of all, because it makes you realise there's a lot of cynical people out there, Fee. <laughs> um, but also, it's sort of a good question because, in all truth, we started working together when we weren't that friendly. And our working careers <laughs> have imposed... A friendship upon us, but it's been very rewarding in every way. Hasn't it just? Yeah. But I suppose at the heart of that as well is the chicken and egg thing. Did we start working together because we were friends or are we friends because we started working together? And it's the latter, isn't yes, it? it is the latter. Yes. yes. But yep. we do not hate each other's guts. No, we don't. No. I think it's fair to say that we might, especially over the coming months, be mildly irritated by each other as we are forced to spend two hours, four days a week in a room. Yes. Let's see what happens. I think there was absolutely no need to split an infinitive there. <laughs> you see, it started already. <laughs> oh, my word. Oh, is this a good one? Why did Jane and Fee leave the BBC? <laughs> well, because, <laughs> because we were offered the opportunity to do something genuinely exciting and a bit different. And although we have loved doing a podcast together, the truth is, I always think the difference between podcasts and live radio, it's like swimming naked in a pool and doing it in a wetsuit. Oh my gosh, so I, uh, I'm just going to try not to picture that. You're the wild to, swimmer. Yep, just to work it out a bit. So the podcast is the... Oh, you're in a wetsuit. Yes. You're looked after, you're protected, you're not taking that many chances. And live radio is naked swimming in a pool yeah. where anyone might wander in. I suppose I do yes, mean that, yeah. Yes, yeah, okay. So I think we also we're happy to leave the BBC because we've been there quite a long time. It's as simple as that. You're absolutely ancient and I'm, I'm not a spring chicken, I'm an autumn chicken. And it was just really nice to be offered the chance I'm to go and Christmas do turkey on, <laughs> be on Christmas. I'm love. a butterball turkey. <laughs> <laughs> you're a boxing day left over. No, you're not, you're not. Uh, we were genuinely delighted to be asked to do something at our stage of life. Yeah, and also I think that some people do just stay in the one they thing. They do stay a bit too long. Stay too long. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So take the hint, push off, try something else. Yeah. Okay. Create space for others. Uh, do Jane and Fee have a podcast? Well, we do. Yes. So we've got a daily podcast What's it called now? now? It's called Off Air with Jane and Fee. And we're going to lift the best bits of the programme we've just done and do a little bit of kind of... I don't know, buttercream frosting around the edges of that, aren't we? Yes, that's the idea. Yeah, and serve it up a bit later on in the evening. And it's four days a week. It is. I it? mean, we are, it's going to be pretty hard to avoid us. You can try, but I don't rate your chances. Uh, mark back. Oh, sorry. Yes, you hold them up. I read the question. How tall is Fee Glover? Well, I find, I find, I find the use of the word tall just quite strange there because it's a question that's being asked because I'm very, very short. Well, no, we're both. So I'm five foot Smaller one. Smaller than average. Yep. And you claim to be a little bit taller than that. I was. I, when I was measured at some point in my life, I, to my absolute delight, I was five foot one and a half. And there was some jeopardy there because I wasn't absolutely certain I'd hit five foot. <laughs> so, but I, I, my, my grandmothers were both tiny. And I think I've just overshot them slightly. But I'm, I have never been as tall as my own mother which is really quite rare <laughs> and, and I've got to be honest, a little disappointing. Yeah. And are, are both of your children bigger than you? Yes, they are. Okay. Well, yeah, we, yes, they really are. Yeah. And that, again, that's difficult in, to have authority in a household. Oh, I lost mine. Yeah, well, your ago. son's a mine strapping lad. comically, comically yeah. taller than me. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So short is the answer to that. Yes, we're both a bit short. I'm holding the mug, you're taking the question. Uh, right. Okay. It's not why we work together, by the way. 
because we're both because we can look each other in the eye <laughs> is jane garvey related to guy garvey i can do with this quickly i really wish i was uh but i'm not but i do love his music Excellent. that takes care of that that certainly does are you related to anyone famous no nope. No particular glovers at all, but obviously somewhere way, way, way back in the mists of time, we made mittens with fingers on. Yeah, so it was just I easier to call them gloves. So, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we go. Who is Jane Garvey? That's the question. It's not, I haven't suddenly lost it. Okay. It's not an existential uh, oh gosh, cry. How would I answer that? Well, uh, Jane Garvey is a, a very, very lucky woman. <laughs> So I'll answer it for you. Jane Glover. Jane Glover. <laughs> Jane Glover is a conductor, isn't she? <laughs> oh, dear. Is she? I think she is. Oh, here we go. Uh, how tall is Jane Garvey? Okay, We've five foot that. one and a half, yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm the statuesque one of yeah. the two. Do you think it matters who holds the mug? I think it does. I think it looks better. I think it looks organised. <laughs> Look at the way she's dealt with her questions and I've just screwed mine up. She's oh, love it, love it, love it. What's your star sign? Oh, cancer. So I'm a home-loving, creative type. In fact, I can't wait to get home now, actually. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what, what are you? I'm Pisces. Yes. I don't really believe it. <laughs> it's utter bollocks. I love stars. <laughs> oh, I know you do. You've got to think about it. But what <laughs> characteristics of Pisceans do you think you have? Uh, well, I just like swimming. I mean, that's, that's all. But, but otherwise, oh, I don't know what do I'm meant fish? to be. I do. I think we're meant to be uh, we're meant to be creative. We're meant to be head in the clouds, but feet on the ground. Oh, that's handy. Isn't it? <laughs> yes. yeah. And a big opportunity is coming your way. Mm. No, I, I think you've had your big opportunity. Either. This is it, love. Yep. Uh, where does Feet Lover live? That's too personal. Not answering that. London. London. What about you? <laughs> no, I just oh, did, did it. Oh, we got it wrong, haven't we? At the last minute. Okay. What is your signature dish? Oh, good question. What is yours? Well, I made yesterday, only yesterday actually, um, the Nigella Lawson tomato curry. <gasps> and it was actually very tasty. Probably stretching it to describe it as my signature dish because that's toast. But this is going to be heading that way because it went down very well. Okay, that's brilliant. Mm. I have to say at the moment, my signature dish is probably just a kind of a festival of hidden vegetables and rice yeah, because well. I'm still trying to shovel things into my teens mm. uh, to make sure that they don't just eat stuff from a fried chicken shop and fried chicken shops are lovely but you know not every day of the week so it just would be a concoction of rice and vegetables but you know what do you call it mum's special rice what do you call it i don't know just dinner is that again <laughs> yes what we're having just ah. dinner yeah. yeah okay yeah. uh what has been your favorite interview ever yeah Interview with that. Oh, uh, well, I, I really love books and writers, so I would say I've interviewed and well, we both interviewed Anne Tyler, Elizabeth Strout. I've interviewed the American novelist again, br absolutely brilliant. But some of the best interviews were with so called ordinary people. But as you and I know, nobody's the best. ordinary. Nobody's ordinary. No one's ordinary. Yeah. Tell you what, though, there are some ordinary interviewers. Yeah, but there are some quite ordinary celebrities, aren't there? There are a lot of those. Yes. Yeah. Who's yeah. your most ordinary celebrity? Uh, oh, gosh, most ordinary. Oh, that would be very cruel, actually. Uh, I'd better not say that, okay. just in case it then turns out that on Times Radio we say we've got a superb interview coming up this afternoon. With somebody we've always wanted to speak to. <laughs> yes. And it'll be them. Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. don't say anything. Yeah. But w what was the interview that you recall? Well, it was with Sarah Poretsky, and just because, do you know what, she was just very interesting on... On, on absolutely everything and I think it was one of those and it's hard to pinpoint them difficult times in American politics and she was just a very thoughtful very witty very funny interviewee and it helped to like her books but you know sometimes when you start talking to somebody about one thing and you just feel as an interviewer thank god there's more to this person than just that yeah. because sometimes when you get stuck on the just that it is quite hard to keep it going for a long time but with her i knew i could ask her anything and her answer would be brilliant well the good thing about the two of us working together is that we will be able to keep interviews going between us won't we, we? Will. Yeah. yeah and if in doubt why don't we just cut lots of google questions up and put yeah. them in a mug and just put those in front of the desk and ask the interviewee to just pick some How tall is Fee Glover? That's, that's <laughs> your, <laughs> your final one. <laughs> what is Jane Garvey doing now? Jane Garvey's having the time of her life. Don't you worry about me. <laughs> but right now, I, if I know you, you'll be heading off to a well-known supermarket to choose some fulfilling carbohydrates for supper. Uh, 
Why is toast night tonight? It's Monday. <laughs> toast night. No, I'm one of those people that I will always have toast if there's no alternative. I'll team it with some cheese. And as a starter, I'll have the crust off the end of the loaf. Because that counts as a separate course. Oh, so just the phrase, I'll team it with some cheese. <laughs> What a build-up to a cheese toasty. <laughs> Thank you very much. I'm Fee Glover and this is my colleague Jane Garvey. We've got a new show coming up on Times Radio. It's three till five in the afternoon and it is packed with stuff, Jane. It's going to be really, we hope, really exciting. We hope you'll be involved in it as well. We'll be talking to each other. We'll be involving you. We'll talk through the news of the day in a form that I hope people will find welcoming and informative uh, but we'll also look ahead to stuff coming up we'll interview people who've got books out or people who are in the news or people who've just got great stories to tell and we want your involvement you can contact us on twitter you can email our program as well can't you it's going to be fabulous jane and fee at times i can't remember it actually <laughs> <laughs> you can email us jane and fee no you can email us at jane <laughs> <laughs> James, the I don't know who the hell James is. <laughs> you can email us Jane, Jane and Fee, Fee at, at Times Radio. Radio. Jane and Fee at Times Radio. And you can email us Jane and Fee at Times Radio. It is Times Radio. It is, yes. Yeah. Well, we email us. it. Yeah.